This is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. Today I'm going to do a quick video on flashing the light on drive with a connectivity kit with the probe attachment. And I've got it hooked to the computer with a USB. This computer don't have a chipset. First thing you want to do is get jungle flasher started. I'm using the 4.3. Right now I want to thank Commodore Forever, Caster, and the entire crew that helped put this jungle flasher together. All of us out here really appreciate it. Alright, once you get here, we want to go ahead and check the drive. Power it down. Close it halfway. Power it back up. You want to go to your DVD key 32 tab. Make sure your drive is in the port here. You can see now it's not. I go to B000 and it's got it listed here. PLDS in the name DG-16D2S. I've got to check and include non-IDE ports. I'm on COM3. That's what my USB is, and you can see my USB to serial and COM ports showed up. At this point, I want to take the probe and get it in the 707 hole. I've got a good green light on the probe. I click Get Key. You can see it running that. It's going to do that four or five times six times. Now it's asking you to save the key and the other information. You can just pick wherever you want to save that. So I save the key, the inquiry, the identifier, and the dummy. I've took the probe back off the drive now. At this point you want to open your target firmware. What we're doing is all that information we just got off you're going to spoof it into or move it into your 1.5 light on firmware. You can see there's no key anything good down here so we click spoof source to target. And now it all matches up we click save to file. Once again it's going to save as light underscore CFW you just need to pick the place you want to save that at and click save. Now at this point we go to the MTK flash tab. We go to light on erase. Click it. It'll give us this warning. Are you 100% sure? Click yes. It'll ask again. Are you positive? And tell you to cut it off and on quickly after you've hit yes and you should get a 72 status. So at this point we want to hit yes off on and we should get a 72 which we did now once that's done you want to go down here to your right tab click it and it will send a race command to the chip again and it will start writing the bank 0 all the way up through 4 takes it just a few minutes or not very long after it gets done, it'll verify. Once it gets to verified OK, that's it. Put it all back together, put it in your 360, and try it out. 